I'm supposed to deliver the pitcher while it's cold. I'm sure I won't spill any of it while I'm sprinting through town like a lunatic. It's fine. Everything's fine. I've only suffered rather a bit of actual health damage and probably use a bath after all the actual shit handling I've been doing, but enjoy your shitty beer. Literally. I've only tried to wash myself three times a day. About time. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Oh. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. 
But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> I think there might have been some actual... I think I saw video compression during that. I think that was pre-rendered. Also, most notably, my, ca my clothes were magically really clean during that whole cutscene, and they don't look anything like that. It was just standing out to me. Interesting to see an actual sword being constructed. I haven't really thought about the pieces of it fitting together before. Oh, there's the trunk. Nails for Teresa. There's also bandages and the marigold decoction? Within one minute will cure light wounds or dispel hangover effects. I didn't know that we had magic in this universe, but okay. In only one minute, it'll it'll cure your wounds. Isn't that interesting? I feel like I shouldn't just... I mean, should I just steal from... I don't know. Should I just take stuff from my own family or not? I mean, frankly, we now know that the uh, world's going to end soon, and this whole town's going to be destroyed. Probably. I died in jail last episode, so... It's not looking great. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Henry, Bianca? Um, for? she's fine. Nails. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. What are you that sword is truly here beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, then. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Then try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. 
It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isma. Have a safe journey to Sasso. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sarati. If anything happens, we'll take care of him. He owes me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
dude never got his sword. I guess giant war scene definitely checks off the Chekhov's gun of why everything was pre-rendered for a bit there. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a guy. <laughs> so there, everything was pre-rendered because they were dealing with a, a giant war scene that was coming in and a bunch of facial animations they wanted to get right. Okay, I'm just gonna try to follow this path. It's not really going very well, honestly. I'm just gonna keep going. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's just all of society's falling apart. Uh, it's... The hero's journey has become... Our wise mentor character is dead. And our... And our starting area is wiped out. And so now we have to begin our life of adventure. And that guy... That guy never got his sword. Oh. Someone's under attack. That's a bad time. I'm right here. We've escaped town a little bit. Does time pass when I'm in this menu? I don't know. Ride to Tallenberg, get a horse. But I have a sword. Where's my sword? Weapons, nothing. That's I do have a sword, though. It's just not listed under weapons for some reason, which is weird. But I do have Sir Razdig Kobila... Kobila... Yeah, sword. Uh... He seemed all right. He seemed to get along all right with people, and seemed like like they cared enough that they they were like they were they're letting villagers take shelter in the keep. Like whenever I see fiction that takes place in this era, usually the people. Oh, I found my level. My level's under my feet. It says main level three. I found it. <laughs> There's a lot going on on the screen. It's really dense with stuff. Uh, whenever we have stuff in this setting in this era, the lords are always so awful. So the idea of that he was letting villagers take shelter and they're all hiding away and everything and they seem to care about whether people made it and everything. I was like, oh, look at that. Look at that. That's different. So of course he's uh, being attacked and doomed at the beginning of the game. Can't, can't let the one sort of decent person survive. So I have a sword. But I should be able to help. I'm hoping that I don't have... I assume that if I die or something right now, it restarts this section and not the entire goddamn game. That'd be unfortunate. Uh, horse riding. So they move with a joystick, or you can press B to go faster, or double B to go faster, faster, and there's stamina. Follow the path. Your horse is smarter than some people, and will stick to the path. <laughs> Your horse is smarter than some people, and will stick to the path you're on if you give him, give him his head. Just begin cantering and don't steer him. So he'll just auto path, much like the much like Roach actually. The fuck is happening here? You can call your horse at any time by whistling. Uh, okay, how do I hit you? Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm. How do I sword? How do I, tell me how to sword. <laughs> you have died in combat. I'm pretty sure she was just being raped. I'm pretty sure she was just being raped. So if the polite game could teach me how to draw a sword, that'd be useful. Although I don't have great confidence in my ability to survive such a fight. I just don't know how to draw my sword. That, that's how you punch. Controls. Uh, um, stab, hook, slash, kick, parry. Melee weapon. Left on the d left on the D-pad. Yeah, I'd get there at random. An unsheathed weapon will provoke fear among villagers, and in towns, the sins will likely call a guard on you. Well, I'm gonna call a guard on these assholes by stabbing the shit out of them, instead of whistling at them, which was not a great plan, but I didn't, you know... And I'm making this up as we go along. I'm not armored, and they are, so I feel like my chances at this are crap. But maybe if I just provoke them, and then maybe even run away, maybe she can get away? Horse riding. <laughs> I wish I had a shield. I, did he even take damage from that? Hello? I'm up here now. Can't get me. Ow. I'm gonna die. Ow. Ow, I died. Alright. 
turns out I don't really know how to fight yet, and they're armored soldiers, so fighting them is a terrible idea. Still, one piece of important information was learned, which is that uh, the quest thing said that I helped Teresa get away. There's like a check mark. So Teresa got away. So distracting them is enough. So I don't need to fight them. I probably could just whistle. In fact, whistling to get my horse probably might it might even auto-complete the uh, idea of saving them. I am not prepared to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. The funny thing is that this game has a save system that's supposed to prevent you from save scumming and prevent you from doing anything like this. And yet here we are. Almost like any- it's almost like they have to make the entire game permadeath, otherwise I can't- and even then, even if it was permadeath, I could still learn stuff and then act based on the information I've learned. So this whole save schnapps system is kind of really pointless. Sup? Oh fuck, they're really fast, aren't they? I'm just gonna run for a bit. I'm just gonna run for a bit. Fuck me! I was gonna get on the horse, but I don't know how- to, I don't know how to get on the horse. And I don't- I, yeah. <laughs> Fiddling with horse would be bad right now, because they would kill the shit out of me. So I'm just gonna sprint away if I- Fuck me! He's right there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be running for like four days, apparently. I'm dying. Alright, well, that's- that's bad. Alright. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Definitely not dying of 17 different little wounds. Let's get on this horse. Okay. Thanks for bringing up a weird menu. <laughs> so that was another case, like with the lockpicking thing, where like I had to figure out a weird interface I've never seen before, but real the real world was still being simulated around me, so I didn't have time to figure out what to do. Like, does it- is it- does the- does the, does everything look darker now? Am I imagining that? It looks dark all of a sudden. Why is it- is it- it is dark, right? Oh, weird. So let's try this again. I'll try to quietly mount my horse, and then I'll whistle. And then they'll charge me, but I'll be on horseback, so they can't catch me, probably. Unless those are his horse. Called them Tartars, which is probably actually accurate. Which horse do I need? So mount is Y. Oh, can you can't whistle when you're on horseback? What's this bullshit? All right, peace and out. Peace and out. I did it. I did it. Oh God, gallop, gallop! You stupid horse! What what are you stuck on right now? Oh my goodness. Am I safe now? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so I, I saw a check mark for helping her get away, so I assume that worked out. So I was sufficiently distracting, apparently. And I've only died like five times already in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely darker than it's supposed to be. I think a glitch happened. Oh shit. Oh shit, I am wounded and need to deal with that now. So I, I uh, am pretty sure... Oh shit. Trying to control this in first person feels weird. I'm pretty sure there's a weird glitch that's making the whole game darker than it's supposed to be, because the cutscene was brighter than the real game. And I think it was only the third time around. Sometimes when you get a particular waypoint, hurry. God damn it. Game, I have way too much shit going on. You can't just throw weird tutorials at me that I'll never see again. That's not fair. 
You discovered fast travel point. You discovered shrine. Is it? Is this? That looks like a shrine almost. Uh, am I supposed to click on the shrine? There's Rovna. So we started at Skylitz. I just passed Rovna. Ride to Talmberg. I think it's just explaining that fast travel exists, even though I don't... Maybe they should explain fast travel to me in a part of the game where I'm supposed to use fast travel because it's relevant to the situation. This is a really bad time to throw tutorials at me. I'm doing shit, I, like being murdered on horseback. <laughs> and they're trying to explain 17 mechanics. It's just a bad fit. Did you go away? Why are you so focused on me? I'm just some dude. All I did was... Ow, I'm sorry I whistled. Jesus. Serious wounds can, uh, to parts of the body will significantly affect your capabilities. You, can, you can't you can run when it, with injured legs. Wielding a sword isn't easy with a broken arm. I would imagine not. Uh, I seem to have foot... foot. I, I have a bleeding heel and I have chest bandage. But only a tiny bit. Those, I'm beginning to take a little bit of damage to the chest. But not, not, not important amounts. You guys better run! Whereas my foot is like in full damage mode. And also I'm more than half dead already. So things are going great. A plus, good. It's a good day all around. Oh, I'm also starving. My f my food my food meter's in trouble. I'm t sure is oh my f horse meter is d empty. Oh cool, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> my horse is out of stamina, but theirs are apparently incapable of being tired out. Seems fair. How are they keeping up with me so well? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Apparently they have way better horses than I do. Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Ah. Thank you. Have you idlers nothing better to do? Get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Yeah. 
Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalas is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Did I read the, the map right? Did we skip another town and not warn them as like some kind of like really selective Paul Revere? Like, the British are coming, but I'm only gonna tell every other town. <laughs> You've discovered the baker. That seems like not the most relevant part of my life right now, but sure. Interesting. My health's refilled, but my stamina's not, seemingly because of lack of rest and food, what I think. He sent his apologies, sir. He can't come tomorrow. The soonest he can manage is before noon the day after tomorrow. Well, I suppose it can wait another day. Tell him to come then. I will, sir. Thank you. I need to find that food. What's he doing? Oh, he's, le he's leaving. Okay. Is there food? This is probably where I'm supposed to rest. You're in a pri- oh, it's not a- that's not a me private area. Where- They seem to have left me. I thought that I was gonna get- I was gonna get food and rest, right? It's just, just a fireplace. Hmm. What was that? It's the person who's been here the whole time- Ah, jiba. What was that? As he looks straight at me. I don't see any food here. And I'm not allowed to go in there. Up, oh, hi. I must have imagined it. I must have imagined it. They said they said the jet would give me the jitters. I'm moving pretty well for somebody who got a shot with an arrow. I adapted like immediately. Okay, there's there's definitely a brightness thing going on. Am I blinding? Do I have a blightness affliction? You can see how bright the game gets when I press this. <laughs> it's like jarring. I have a speech of one and a charisma of four. I guess the with a wound does that. Talk to Sir Robard. Yeah, I swear I went right back another location. Right past another location on the map. Look at the map. We're here. What's that? Activity giver. Uh, yeah, let's visit the baker. That'd probably be how I get my food, right? Because I'm dying. Who are you? You look stuck. Are you stuck? Kind of think he's stuck. Oh, something to ease. 
Can I open this door? I cannot. What the hell? Uh, did I startle you guys? Am I allowed to sleep here? <laughs> like, just sleep in your house? That's normal, right? Let's just talk to Robard. Hello? You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard okay. about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. So the the game's current brightness glitch is something I would normally resolve by, you know, saving and then closing the game and reloading it. Uh, but this game won't let you do that. So, A+. Plus. <laughs> I'm happy they decided to make the game that way. Ah, oh, milady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. We've met the Lord and the Lady. Everyone's so surprisingly polite in this universe that I'm used to uh, from this kind of setting. I can pick up food. Now it's just in my inventory. My bread. My cheese. My chick roast duck. And my apple. Alright, how do I actually physically eat? Oh, he's like <laughs> collapsing. Uh, he'll be fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna eat this cheese with my eat button. There we go. How's my eat meter now? It's marginally approved. It's not great, honestly. I need to. I keep mixing up which button to press. Um, oh, I'm in Codex right now. Do I have an eating meter? Right, nourishment, seventeen. That sounds bad. Because it is bad. Okay, it's pretty bad. Maybe I should grab more food. That's freaking out a little bit. Oh, keep opening the map instead. Uh, more cheese. Now we're at 27. Bread roll. 34. Apple. 30 apples are not good at this. Lentil mash. It's like a proper meal, right? I'm at 45. This stuff is not... Okay, roast duck. 71, that's where the, all the, that's where all the nourishment is hiding. It's in the, oh, okay, I'm having a bad time. <laughs> About to fall unconscious, it would appear. He's not doing well with the whole long time without sleeping part. Give me a second, dude, I've just got to, yeah, roast duck. Roast duck. You're stuffed, wait until you digested your food, you, you animal, you. Give me, oh, oh god, are you, are you really going to pass out? Listen, I'm going to take every single piece of free food they give me. Because I think they're gonna really this is gonna really matter mechanically over the course of this game. Although now I probably have to worry about my carry load, right? As I go to bed with an, an army of food in my inventory. That army is not a right correct word to use for food. 
There we go. 99 nourishment. So my speech and charisma are down because I am exhausted. Let's see about finding that location. So I'm going towards A. Okay, okay. Don't actually pass out on the way there. You can you can do this, dude. You can do this. I'm surprised he can even like fake a smile at this point in the game after what happened to him and how exhausted he is and uh how he watched his family get slaughtered in front of his eyes. Uh but he's smiling. It's probably a reflex even a defense mechanism of dealing with royalty and stuff, maybe. One of those smiles that doesn't reach the eyes, but it's really hard to convey that kind of idea in a video game where most smiles don't reach the eyes. If you're tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed, which you'll recognize as an icon on the compass. Sit on it and press A to launch sleep. <laughs> So, inventory. Armor. Boop. 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 There we go. I'm not wearing my filthy boots or any of the other filthy parts of my body. I know how to obey orders. Okay, let's press A to launch sleep. How long do you want to sleep? Uh, comfort, nourishment, energy, health. So the further you go, the more nourishment you lose. Does comfort change over time? No. You can't sleep any longer than 12 hours. It's impossible. No one has ever done that before. What do you mean you've done it before? So if we sleep for 9 hours, we get all of our energy back. It'll also become the morning a little bit. You deserve 9 hours, right? <laughs> 